G'day all, so in this video today we're going to be looking at compounding events. So here we've got a question and this here is an experiment consists of rolling a die and tossing a coin. Okay, so rolling a die and tossing a coin, we're presuming that it's a six-sided die because that's our normal sided die. So use a tree diagram to list the sample space for the experiment. So this is one part of the question, so make sure you are doing this. If it doesn't say this, you don't have to do the whole one, but I'm going to do the whole one in this example because it asks. And find the probability of obtaining a head and an even number. So that's what we need to write out at the end. So we're going to start by doing our experiment here. So first, the experiment consists of rolling a die and then tossing a coin. So we're going to write all our different outcomes for this. So here, our first one's rolling a die. So we've got six different outcomes here from one to six. So I'm going to start this off. Tree diagram. Hopefully it doesn't. I just need to make sure I leave myself enough room. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six outcomes here. So six outcomes. We've got number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're here, a die, we've got an even chance of getting any of these numbers. So all of these outcomes are going to be one to six. Okay. So here, all of these are going to be one to six. I'll write these in a different color, actually, just so it's easy to see. So yet again, just make sure that you are writing all your probabilities here. Okay. So each one of these has got a one of six chance of appearing. So after this, we're tossing a coin. So we need to make a new two branches for this because tossing a coin you, can, a coin, you can have heads or tails off each one of these. So... So just fill it all out like so. Okay, so we've done our tree diagram. Now, each one of these, we've got a half chance. Okay, so I'm just going to write half up the top and the bottom because I haven't left enough room. So each one of these has got a half for this branch here. Sorry, that's just me being lazy and I didn't leave myself enough room. So ideally you would write half on each one of these here, just so you know. I'll write it on every second one. In each gap there. Okay, so each one of these has got a half chance. So here we just need to work out our probability. So conditional probabilities, one thing happening after another. So first, we'll just focus on what it has for our question. So find the probability of obtaining a head and an even number. So we need to look at all our heads at the even numbers here. So all our H values, we're going to work out these. So we just need to work out one after the other. So we've got one sixth here, and then when something's happening after another, we multiply it. Okay? So this becomes one sixth over one half, which is equal to one twelfth. And all of these numbers are the same here, so we can just write one twelfth for each one here. Just make sure that you do work it out for each one if they do have different values. So here, sorry, I shouldn't have done it on. Try 
trying to fill in all these ones. I should have left myself enough room. This is the only problem with these questions. And you will notice we have got 12 outcomes here. So that means, because remember, all our probabilities have to equal up to 1. So now we just need to go through and find which ones are head and an even number. So this one, the first uh, up the top here, this one, this isn't an even number, so we don't count that. So I'm just going to highlight all our even numbers and then highlight the heads of these even numbers. So you'll notice that we've got three of these, so we just need to add these up. So the probability of an even and then a head, this here is equal to, just scroll over a bit because it lets me, this here is equal to 1 on 12 plus 1 on 12 plus 1 on 12. So you can add them up, up the, uh, at the end, okay? Especially when you're drawing tree diagrams, just remember, multiply across and add down. So this here is equal to 3 over 12, which then simplifies down to 1 quarter is the probability of getting an even then a head. Yet again, if you had to do it the other way around and did heads and tails and then did the odds and evens, this will work out the same. So just remember that. So this is how you can go about drawing out your tree diagrams and your compound events, okay? Just draw out your tree, di tree diagram, multiply the events together when you're going across, and then add all the ones relating to your question down. And just make sure that they, that it does equal 12 at the end. I mean, not 12, 1 at the end. So this should equal 12 over 12 here. So just remember that this should all equal to 1 when all added up. Okay? So just remember all of those added up should equal to 1. And you'll see here that we have got, and I'll just do this in green, we should have 12 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So just remember that. So that's an easy way to see if you have made a mistake, okay? If all your values at the end don't add up to 1, then you've probably made a mistake or left something out or added something that you shouldn't have added. So hopefully that helps, and good luck with some questions on compound events.